What's up, guys? Welcome back to Between the Pylons. I'm John Camacho. Thank you so much for watching. And guys, today we are talking about Larry Roundtree out of Missouri. And this dude is a really, really exciting prospect. We're talking about a dude who has over 746 carries and just under 4,000 yards at Missouri. Uh, has started or at least played in all four seasons. Got a good bit of playing time there. Uh, he's a really interesting prospect because I think he was one of the best things about the Missouri program in the past couple of years and just somebody who really fell under my radar completely. I hadn't heard about this dude until a friend of mine actually told me, Hey, you need to go watch this guy. I did. And I'll be honest, he's, he's right there in my like tier two, maybe tier three of running backs. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to pan out, but I mean, he's a guy that I am a big, big fan of. And after you get out of the, you know, maybe top four, I think it's for me, you got Edie and Harris of uh, Javante Williams and Kenneth Gainwell as like, my solidified four that I've loved. And really, after those four guys, you, you just, you kind of have a smosh podge of like, different players and that you know you could fit in different schemes and you know I like certain aspects of them it falls off it really does really to be honest there, there are four guys that should go in the top three rounds of the NFL draft and then I don't really know how it goes after that it's going to be completely dependent on you know the flavor of the week what what do each of these teams want what, what type of player do these guys want Larry Roundtree feels like a guy to me who will end up in that like fourth round range I'm a big fan of this dude let me show you why let's get right into the film portion of this video Larry Roundtree is a really interesting prospect with a ton of things to really like about him. But for me, my favorite thing is his ability to create yards between tackles and find tiny holes uh, between offensive linemen. Right here is a really good example of his ability to just sneak through a tiny hole in the offensive line and, and get to the second level. Obviously not a huge play. Gets tackled pretty early on, but that is a tiny hole. That's an NFL hole right there, and he gets right through it. You have to love that. And then again, we'll see not the exact same style of play, but you will see him kind of shift and, and uh, maneuver his way behind tacklers, gets small and, and creates as many yards as he can, turns what could have been, you know, a two or three yard gain into, I would say, an eight or nine yard gain, right? And then here, this is a, an example of Larry Roundtree's really slippery play. Like he is a very, very slippery running back that just can find a crease, find a hole, make somebody miss very, very easily, right? Here's a good example. Make a couple guys miss. Just nobody was able to get a good tackle on him, and he was able to run it in for a touchdown. I, that's the kind of stuff I love. I love guys that that just for whatever reason don't seem to go down after first or second contact. And it's not specifically power; it's more of elusiveness type of thing. But again, gotta love stuff like that. And then here we're gonna see similar kind of thing. We'll see the linebacker right here has a really good opportunity to bring Roundtree down for a one yard loss or at worst no gain. And Roundtree is able to put that little dead leg out there, make a man miss, and just slip by the tackler and get to the second level. And is able to turn what should have been a one-yard loss into a five- or six-yard gain. you got to love the ability of running backs to create yards. And, and that's what Roundtree does, especially in that like five- to 15-yard range. And then again here, another example of his just slippery run style. These defenders just don't get a good angle on him, don't, aren't able to bring him down. And Roundtree just very effortlessly is able to hit, hit the X button and uh, spin out of a tackle, spin out of another tackle, and then fall forward for a touchdown. And then one of my favorite things about Roundtree's game is something that wasn't really utilized at Missouri, right? He has really, really good pass catching ability. He's a very smooth pass catcher, right? Like this is a good example outside of his frame, running back brings it in and is going upfield in one swift motion. Like look at this again just one swift motion of catch the ball and go upfield, right? Not not a lot of time lost. It is very, very effortless, very, very good. And then here, this is kind of the play I'm putting in just to show why he's not in that next tier of running backs. So I always try to do that with guys that I really like but do firmly believe is like a tier two or tier three player in their class. And this is kind of it. Uh, his stop-start ability is good, but it's not great. He, he, he doesn't have like that elite 
elite explosiveness. He doesn't have really great long speed, but he's still very, very good between the tackles, and he's very, very good in short burst, right? Like He, he definitely has good explosiveness and, and burst, but right here we'll see uh, this is the hole he's supposed to run through. It gets clogged up, so he needs to stop. Uh, doesn't stop on a dime the way you'd maybe like to see a running back do, right? And then it, he obviously has to kind of start back up, takes an extra second to start back up. His stop-start ability isn't perfect, but it's good. It's not perfect, but it is very good. And what maybe could have been more yards ends up being one yard, two yards. Isn't really able to consistently create explosive plays, uh, and, and I think that's maybe one of the bigger downsides of his game. And then the other side is he is not a very good pass protector at this point of his career. I think that's something you can certainly get better at, but right here we'll see this linebacker just, I mean, absolutely manhandle him. And anytime he was put in this kind of situation, uh, Roundtree was pushed back and, and the quarterback was put in danger. And, and guys, I love Larry Roundtree as a player, and I, I do think he has a lot of to offer a little ton of upside there. I do want to point out just really, really quick before we get to the skill chart, this isn't a burner. This is not a guy who's going to get you, you know, 40 yard touchdown, 50 yard touchdowns. Like he's not that type of explosive playmaker style guy. He, he's a guy who's going to get you 10 yards, 15 yards. You know, he, he's a guy who's in that kind of range. And I think that's okay. Obviously it, it does take away a little bit from his top end uh, value as a prospect, purely just an NFL draft prospect. But other than that, it, I don't think it's a huge detriment to his play on the field. There are plenty of guys around the NFL that are not home run hitting running backs that are still able to, you know, make make a nice living for themselves and, and be a very productive running back at the NFL level. I do think Larry Rountree has the opportunity, has the talent to be that guy in the NFL. But with that being said, let's get on over to the skill chart here. All right. So first thing we always talk about with the running back is the vision at 5.9. Very, very good. I showed you that first play on the uh, film portion of the video where he slips through a, a tiny little crease and is able to get big yards. Uh, now, I, I will 100% admit that there were other moments where it was like, man, I, I'd like him to recognize that the hole is kind of being blocked and, and adjust a little bit faster. That kind of gets into, you know, where his lack of elite ability is. I, I always try to keep those kind of things in mind and kind of explain why he's not even higher ranked than, than where I personally have him. Agility at a 5.0 point eight that again really really good grade positive grade not it doesn't blow me out of the water by any means but still a 5.8 4.5 is the average so this is significantly above average for me i think he's really really good at this short area quickness at a 5.8 again same kind of story very very good i i, I like his explosiveness I, I like his ability his shot out of a cannon ability he he, he does run that way uh it, it's not like you know, it doesn't blow me away every single time. I won't say that, but it is very, very good. It's certainly something that I think is a, a, a feather in his cap at the next level. Acceleration at a four. Yeah, that is a negative grade for me. Listen, he, he's just not that guy. He's not the guy who's going to explode for long runs down the sideline. That's just not what he's going to do at the next level. I, I think he's he's certainly more of a between the tackles, five, six yard a, a clip type of guy. And, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Um, pass protection at a 1.2. Yeah, that's a huge negative for me. Uh, something that seriously, seriously bothers me a whole, whole lot about his game. Uh, it needs to get better. It needs to improve. I think it will with time. Uh, we'll get there. Uh, power at a 2.3. He, he doesn't run people over. That's Again, that's not his game. He he is uh, he, he can lower his shoulder at times, and he definitely, if he has momentum, can, can be imposing physically. But overall, that's just really not his game. That's not what I'm asking him to do at the next level. Pass catching at an 8. And this will shock a lot of people. And I mentioned it in the film portion of the video. Listen, he didn't have more than 15 receptions in any season that he was with at Missouri. And I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about the production in college. I saw enough. I saw three plays of him catching the ball from the film that I watched. And that was enough. I almost put all three in there just to kind of show you. Uh, but I, I didn't feel like I needed to. I put the one in there. He he catches the ball smooth every single time. It, it, it feels effortless to me. I think he will be very, very well utilized in the passing game and the NFL level, especially if he goes to a team that's willing to do that. Now, maybe some teams will knock him down because they, they do have questions that I don't 
don't have, that's fine. That's part of the grading process. Not everybody's going to see things the exact same way. I don't have any questions. I, I don't I don't need to know anymore. I'm good. But some people might, and that, that's okay. That is what it is. Patience, 6.7. He, he is a patient runner. He, he runs behind his blocks. He, he, he takes what's there to be had. He does those things very, very well. He gets you the yards that are on the field that are blocked for him every single time. And then a lot of times he can make somebody miss and get even more. Breaking tackles at a 6.7. It's kind of weird to have breaking a tackle at a positive grade, but power at a negative grade. He just breaks his tackles differently. He's a slippery dude. This is a guy who is tough to bring down for whatever reason i i don't quite understand it i always talk about that with guys that are like slippery like like okay you're not running through people you're not just like breaking people's ankles but nobody can seem to bring you down so whatever it is it's working i don't know how you're doing it but it's working a bill in the open field at a 5.5 that would be higher if he had that elite explosiveness and ability to get to the second and third level of defenses when he gets those opportunities uh, overall it's still positive because like i said he makes people miss things like that are always good have no problem with that pad level and balance again Again, 5.8 positive grade, very good grade. Overall, these are you'll notice other than other than pass protection and power, and then yes, excel, acceleration isn't good either, but it, it's not. I don't think awful. I, I really think you, you have a, a running back that checks a lot of the boxes. Is it every box? No, he doesn't check every single box, but I think he checks most of them. And, and for that reason, in a kind of a bad running back class. I think this is a guy who could end up going in the fourth round. I think this is a guy who teams could see and be like, man, I like a lot about this dude. Fuck it. We're going for it. Like, I, I could see that. And also, I'll be totally real. I, I could see him falling to seventh. I, I don't know what to expect about any running back that's, you know, isn't those top four that I've already mentioned. I, I don't know. That's kind of the interesting thing about this class. And that's kind of a really exciting thing for me is, is I kind of just get to call my shot. I, I get to sit on here and say, hey, these are the guys that I think are going to be good, regardless of where they get drafted, because I don't know where they're going to get drafted. I, hey, in a couple of years, hopefully I can play this back and be like, yo, I was a big fan fan of Larry Roundtree. I was a Heather Curb on this and I, I think that'll be fun. That'll be that'll be nice if, if I get to do that. And you know what? If I'm wrong, hopefully everybody forgets this video. And it never happened. Um, just kidding, guys. Overall, I, I look at Larry Roundtree as a guy who who's going to go in and be a part of a rotation early. But but he is a guy to me that I could see carrying the load for a couple years in the NFL. I really could. I could see him having that trajectory. Maybe uh, uh, you know a fifth round pick, fourth fifth round pick that that picks up some of the the things that he's lacking right now and, and turns it on and, and becomes a a superstar in the NFL. We see that happen all the time in the NFL. There's a ton of running backs that are starting in this league that were undrafted or drafted late on day three. You know, that happens all the time. I could easily see Larry Roundtree being one of those guys. He's a guy I am ultra, ultra excited for. I would love to see go in the fourth round. I think I more realistically see him being like a fifth round pick. Wherever he goes, I, I hope he just gets an opportunity. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is all I have on Larry Roundtree. Uh, please let me know in the comments below what you think Think about this player uh, where would you draft him in your fantasy rookie drafts where would you draft him if you were running your team let me know in the comments below I'm always interested to see what you guys think I just love talking football man so so comment I get to talk a little bit more football so I'm happy to do that do that and hey if you're feeling generous hit the subscribe button help my channel grow that would that that is always very much appreciated and obviously the like button as well all the buttons that that help me out always very much appreciated anyway guys thank you so much for watching peace out